He, it's the Rod Traveler here again. I wanted to produce a new video. Today's video's theme is about claim, uh, complaining to the hotel or the airlines that you had a stay at, regardless of whether it was a paid stay or a free stay. Most of the hotel chains and most of the airlines, they want to hear about your experience with them. They want to hear if it was good or bad, in fact. But my experience is that almost all the time when you have a stay at one of the top name hotels, like the Best Western or the Holiday Inn, the Marriott, the Hyatt, Hilton, etc. They almost always send you in your email, if they have your email address, they almost always send you a survey after your stay. And in your survey, you can tell them what your stay was like. They'll ask you all various different aspects of your stay, if your room was light enough, if they had enough outlets, if the internet was working, and all those things. If there was any problems, did you ask them to resolve it? Was it resolved and things like that? So just recently, a few weeks ago, I was staying at one of the extended Stay America hotels. I was actually a paid stay. And after the stay, they, they sent me one of those surveys. And I was having a lot of problems at that hotel room there. As soon as I got in there, I noticed that there was a lot of dirt on the carpet and I found some somebody else's M&Ms on underneath the bed and there was pieces of paper and plastic and people's hairs and all kinds of weird stuff on the carpet and then several other problems as well so I, I told them the truth I just sent them back the survey with uh, with all the information that I had gathered from the room and Within a very short period of time, I got an email back from the manager of the hotel, and they said they were being they would they were willing to offer me a free night, uh, a voucher for a free night, if I would just give them my address. So sure, of course, I sent them back my address, and within a few days, I got a free voucher for a free night on them. And I ended up staying at another extended Stay America hotel, which was worth over a hundred dollars, and I ended up getting it for free because of that free voucher. As well, I know other people that have had similar kinds of experiences when they tell the hotel chain or the airlines that they had a bad experience on a flight. I would suggest you do, you tell them the truth. If there really was a bad experience on the flight or at the hotel, then tell them about it. Don't, don't just make it up because you're hoping to get a free night or a free voucher or something out of it. But if there's actually something wrong, it's not according to your standards and you don't feel that it's right, they'll make it right. Most of the large corporations, they don't want to have bad customer service. They don't want people to feel that their their brand is, is not living up to standard. So that's a good thing to do. You just let them know. Most of the airlines have, if you go to their website, they have a link in order to make a comment or a complaint. In fact, I saw on Delta Airlines, I think one of the first links at the very top of their web page was comments and complaints. So just go onto the airline that you are traveling on, search for complaints, and send them in a complaint. Make sure they have your address and phone number, and they might contact you, and there's a good chance that you'll get some kind of a voucher. And if it isn't available or if you're not able to do it online, you can always give them a call. You can just call the reservations number and tell them you have a complaint because of the way things happen on one of your one of your flights or one of your stays at a hotel. So that's my advice. That's 
a new way to get discounts and cheap flights and cheap hotels. So hopefully we'll see you soon on another flight.